Hello everyone, welcome back to the Four Science Update in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. When we last left the save, we had Ferber Kerman here floating in orbit around Duna, much, needing much rescue and carrying much science. Uh, so we probably should rescue her, but let's let's take a look at what what actual missions we have. Better signal uh, is to set up a satellite around you. Well, that is 4,000 science. That is a lot of science. Um, maybe you should pick her up and then send her over to Jewel, but that's for a probe core, though. I don't know. It, it doesn't say that it can't be crewed. It just says it has to have a probe core. So, it's a little bit vague, but let's just see. We don't need wheels. We don't need that. Transmitter return atmosphere survey from Jewel and her Eve sphere influence. Hmm. Well, we could pick her up and then send her over to Eve sphere influence. Well, um... Oh, land on Ike with a crew of three. That's only 800, though. But we could do that. We could send two Kerbals, rescue Ferber, and then land all of them on Ike. Should we land this pod on the surface of Ike? We have it. Let's take a look and... I mean, it's not like we have costs. Hmm. It's looking very small. Why is it empty? Shouldn't those windows be a little bit more windowy? It looks like it's got decompress at any moment. Okay, well anyway, we'll assume that that's safe. By the way, we still only have the Science Junior, one ton Science Junior as our science, so we're gonna let that be for a bit. These are just those. Um, we don't even have the right parachute for the top of this. Well, we'll just have a nose cone and put two of these on the side. Let's just make sure the hatch isn't obstructed. Can't believe they had a land on Ike with a crew of three thing. Well, we can do that. I think two parachutes will be good enough. Maybe. Jeb... Jeb is... Uh, I mean, I, I accept the, that we actually killed Jeb and then brought Jeb back to life. I probably shouldn't have reverted that one, but I did in a moment of weakness. I did decide to leave Val perished. So Jeb is officially Mech Jeb right now. Jeb, I feel like, is either uh, a zombie or is a robotic Jeb that has an AI facsimile of Jeb built in. And it's not really the real Jeb, because we definitely killed Jeb. So, yeah. Uh, we're probably not gonna send Jeb. Or Tim. We'll, we'll send some of these other Kerbals. Neil Dunn looks good. Neil Dunn. Almost Neil Armstrong, but not quite. <laughs> no, we only have these landing legs. Ooh. That's gonna be rough. Um, you know, maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> Hmm. The 2C plus 1C is technically lighter than this, but we won't be able to bring it back directly. Okay, so... Where are they? We have to figure out where all these things are. Landing utilities. No, those are very utility. Heavy landings has these legs. Well, I guess we can get them. Oh, and then there's the XL Parachute. Hopefully it actually does what we need it to do. Oh, I didn't even need that atmosphere. Oh gosh, I wish there was an undo. I mistook it because I thought it was in this role, but no, it, uh, those aren't dependent on it. It's this precision machining. Oh well, we act well, we needed the atmospheric science for the jewel probe anyway. So I'll get those. Um... I probably should get the medium-sized fairing, too. Okay, we've spent a whole bunch of science. Okay, so now we have bigger landing legs. Then we also have the right par- uh, hopefully the right parachute. So I'll leave off that and these and... Will the... XL parachute be good enough?
It better be. Mm. Probably should have extra battery and... Well, not that many. And solar panels. Um, let's have those. Why not? Can't retract, huh? Well, that's not a big problem, I guess. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't have the batteries clipped in like that. Alright, I'll slap those on the side instead. Hopefully this doesn't cause any unforeseen issues. Are you sure you don't want to go and close up on that? Because that would be nice of you. Apparently not. Okay, forget it. Forget I asked. Is that enough thrust to weight ratio to handle Ike? No, 3.77, yeah, it seems that way. We would like this stage to transfer us and capture us around Duna. That should be fine for that purpose. You could probably squeeze more out of it. 0.5 thrust weight ratio. I can deal with that. It is still efficient, right? 340, not the greatest ever. Just mainsail it. I feel like we've got to just give it our all here. We're rescuing a Kerbal after all, and landing three Kerbals on Ike. But that's separate. Okay, uh, I mean, it could be taller. And I think solids or liquids. I think maybe it doesn't make any sense to supplement a mainsail with skipper boosters. <laughs> uh, it seems like the wrong way around, doesn't it? I can barely read what's going on here. That seems like enough to get to orbit. That's not super enough to get off the ground though. Uh, yeah, definitely not enough to get off the ground. Let's maybe have less in the core then. That's not good enough. Uh, just more main sails. <laughs> I mean, they're not charging us. Mm, we don't have great nose cones, but we probably have a conical tank. Do we need separatrons? I think we probably do. That's more than we need to get to orbit, so we're looking at this stage to actually start our trip to Duna. I don't know if the pod has enough reaction wheel to turn us. Probably. Okay, but yeah, a little separatrons would be good. Okay, Ike mission. Kneel down, we said. She didn't sneak in this time, though. Theocot. Fine, Kneel down and Theocot. Comms, well, we're not gonna send the information back ahead of time. I don't think so. We're not gonna send science back, but then maybe it has to send the information back that they've landed on Ike. I don't know what the rules are for that. It'd be interesting to test it out to see what happens if you don't put an antenna and you land at the right location with the Kerbals. But I guess let's not waste time. Did we pick up the contract? <laughs> I mean, I don't think we pick up contracts, but we track them. So I, I don't know if we actually need to track them or not, but... Alright. Well, we need to be in the right window for transfer to Duna. So, why can't we go to a tracking station directly from the VAB anyway? Okay, waiting. All this time, Ferber will be waiting in orbit. Mmm, don't care about those. Okay. Alright. SAS on, throws up, and here we go. Three mainsails! What a luxury. We've cleared the tower. Okay, roll complete. 
Silly me, I thought three main sails would have more thrust weight ratio. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we should be through max Q and everything. Oh, hope I don't overheat stuff though. I haven't tested this pod at all in this version. Okay, boosters off. Still blinking. Perform experiments here. What experiments? Run crew observation? Nope. Oh, I've gone too high. Ah, it distracted me with those experiments. Okay, well, let's see what the situation is. Uh, I guess we could go. No, that's not what I want to target. Okay. Um, should be able to just head out as part of it. Well, there's an encounter. I'll be getting there a little bit quick, though. But uh, maybe it's the right timing for that. Uh, no, it looks like we're okay. Ah, uh, uh, just not quite there. That's pretty close. A little mid-course correction could probably do the trick there, but maybe a little bit faster will be okay. Well, a little bit of inclination will need to be done. But alright, that's fine for now. So somebody had noted that in theory it says start burn and we should start to burn when it says start burn. But the problem is that if you start to burn when it says start burn, then even if you're doing a straight prograde burn... Are we turning at all? Um, it'll start you at prograde, which is not efficient. It means that you'll end up with a whole bunch of radial components. So. Uh, that's why I started a little bit earlier when the maneuver node is a little bit lower from prograde because then it won't have an extra radial component and it'll be more accurate and efficient. Okay, staging. Staging. And poodle. Well, let's hope Ferber is still nice and cozy there. Tempted to just wait till we get there, but I think we'll do a mid-course correction. The only reason I'd be tempted to wait till we get there is because it's hard to manipulate the mid-course correction from this. Well, right now it doesn't look like we're in line, but by the time we get there, who knows whether we're the orbits will be so I don't think it's showing where the orbits will be by the time we get there so yeah we'll just do that correction oh I forgot to extend the antenna whoops fortunately there are kerbals seems fine okay continuing they go they go all crazy when we start time warp only recently noticed this. And then they settle down. It makes me worried about the effect of time warp on the Kerbals. We never had to think about that before. I don't have Let me now. just see what's going on. Ah, that's good enough. Okay. We'll go with that. We should have plenty of Delta V in this stage to figure everything else out. The wonders of having three main sails launch you. I can't create a maneuver right there though. Hmm. Anyway, we'll figure that out when we get there. Periapsis looks fine. But uh, it does look like we're not quite in alignment with the target, so maybe we can just fix that. If it'll let me create the maneuver node. Can't do it perfectly, but can sort of help our situation out. That will sort of make it so that we can correct inclination with it at the same time as we capture. 
if I'm not getting the direction that's moving in wrong. <laughs> or uh, the Kerbal is moving in wrong. Let me see. So we'll be going like that. Which way? I think the Kerbal is going around the other way. Oh, was it? Okay, it's actually showing us our ascending node. It's nice. Okay, so that should get us in a good... What was that sound? That should get us in a good situation. Crew observations... Well, we've done those already, so... Nothing new like that. 33 is not too bad, so we'll... Wait a day... How far is it to periapsis? Well, anyway, it'll be fine. We could do it now and it probably cost less, but... 33 is okay. It's interesting that the secondary missions are harder than the primary missions in many cases. Basically going, oh, you think you're good? Well, here's some other things for you. Uh, I know the Kerbal's around 60-something. 60 65 should be fine. Okay, that looks good. Let's just actually plot the capture burn so we can build that inclination change in. Ah, uh, why is there still some... Hold on a sec. Uh, it's a stupid maneuver node system. It doesn't understand. Uh, I want the maneuver not to start there, but to actually average there. If it averages there, it's not going to have any inclination left, because that's where our node is. But no, it doesn't understand stuff like that. So we have to move it ahead of time. To where we actually want to start the burn. Uh, I see 1A and 1B really close together and the really really close together there but okay well that's two kilometers in theory. So we have an encounter there 114 meters per second relative speed and we just need to do 735 initially. So let's go to periapsis. Well not quite periapsis where we actually have said that we will start the burn. We will do it according to the burn timer this time, because that's how we've plotted it in this case. There's Ike. We'll be over there in a sec. In a jiff. Ignition? At least it doesn't chase the stuff around like it used to. They fixed that part of it. Used to be when you did an inclination burn, you couldn't actually let it hold the maneuver node. Okay, point six. That's okay. Uh, we don't quite have the encounter. Okay, that'll do. Let's do that then. Just outside the atmosphere, we must be cautious. Oh, that's what I wanted. Okay. 1.5 kilometers, let's go around and meet up with our Kerbal. There's Ferber. There's no actual science, right? <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Anyway, let's get over to our Kerbal. Um, can our Kerbal see the pod somewhere? Hmm. Where's the pod? Ah, oh, there it is. Can I target it? <laughs> can I target the pod? Don't want to strand our Kerbal after being so close to rescuing her. At least they've got good ambient light. Okay, grab, board. Alright, we have rescued Ferber. Ferber is on board. <laughs> 